hi what's up now in this video we're gonna prove coefficient of coupling there is one question that say show from the first principle that coefficient of coupling is k equal to m over root l1 l2 so what i'm going to do now say now you know how we do this our solution let's start from the solution you know k is our coefficient of coupling now to do this let's draw the sec let's draw the circuit so we have is how the circuit we have to draw the transformer yes this one is in one and two one and two current flowing here is i1 current flowing back here is i2 these two they are k phi k phi now to get this formula we have to make use of two type of inductances so we have to use two type of inductance what are the two type of inductance we have one self inductance and we have mutual inductance mutual inductance so we are going to make use of these two first one self inductance and the second one mutual inductance to derive this formula k equal to m over root l1 l2 so this is what we want to derive this is what we are looking for now let's begin with self inductance self inductance remember that self inductance is l1 equal to n1 phi 1 over i1 then l2 equal to n2 phi 2 over i2 that is for self inductance l1 equal to n1 phi 1 over i1 then l2 equal to n2 phi 2 over i2 now let's write out for mutual inductance also mutual inductance mutual inductance now we have m12 equal to k phi 1 over i1 times n2 then m21 equal to k phi 2 over i2 times n1 don't forget mutual this is mutual inductance so mutual inductance we have m12 equal to k phi 1 over now this place this is m12 over i1 times n2 m21 equal to k phi 2 times n1 over i2 then m12 times m21 we give us m square now let's multiply this to obtain this so we have something m2 we have something like this m2 square equal to k phi 1 n2 over i1 times k phi 2 n1 over i2 so m this m m square we now equal to this m square we now equal to k times k we give us k square into bracket q phi 1 and 2 over i1 times phi sorry the my name phi 2 over i2 see this now m square equal to k square open bracket phi 1 n1 over i1 times phi 2 n1 over i2 recall don't forget that l1 equal to n1 phi 1 over i1 then l2 equal to n2 phi 2 over i2 therefore this one is is l1 this one is l2 as you can see here now m square equal to k square this k square don't forget this you know we've done all this to this this to this 
So we have k square left. So now be k square equal to no, sorry m square equal to k square l1 l2. Let's square the both side. Let's square the both side. The both sides. So by squaring the both side, we have root m square equal to root k square k square l1 l2 now this square root cancel this square cancel this so we have m equal to k l1 l2 you know it's only this k that has square the square root cancel definitely it's going to remain this square root for this l1 and l2 don't forget that so we have something like this now what are we going to do we are going to divide both sides by root n1 l2 that is coefficient of k you know we are looking for this k so it will now be divided by l1 l2 root l1 l2 don't forget over root l1 l2 this cancel this so we have k equal to m over root l1 l2 so this is the formula for this is the formula for coefficient of coupling we've been looking for coefficient of coupling is it <laughs> now k equal to m over l1 l2 is what we've been looking for this is what we derive don't forget the question that say show from the first principle that coefficient of coupling is k equal to m over root l1 l2 so this is from the first principle first principle starting from the self inductance and mutual inductance thank you see you once again please like subscribe and share and comment below thank you very much